All right, no time to explain, gang. Welcome back. King Zeph here, back with another video for you guys. Happy Friday. Hope you guys had a very great week. And I also hope you guys have been enjoying some of the content on the channel. You know, give a little shout out to my brother, Abby Friction, you know, and Mrs. Abby Friction. They just uh, released an anime review video on the channel a couple days ago. So that'll be kind of coming in rotation. So if you guys are weebs and want to hear your weekly reviews on animes, check that video out. That link will be in the um, description and below. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way you can get all the updates when that video, when those videos drop as well. Today is going to be the long-awaited, well, eh, roughly about a week. It's been about a week since we did it, but we are looking at the, uh, the Rarity Collection from Yu-Gi-Oh! today. But today we're going to, of course, do a classic little time of what's better, blisters or the boosters. So it's going to be our blisters versus booster uh, video. The last two we did, I think one of them was for Lorcana. The first one that we did was for um, whatever set had the Labyrinths in it. Do I see that box near me? I do not. It's probably hiding in plain sight. Um, but whatever set that the Runix card came in, as I still consider, keep looking for this box. Where is it? It is. Hold on. Tactical Masters. There we go. <laughs> it was a tactical. It was Tactical Masters. Was the first uh, Blisters versus Boosters that we did, which was the deck builder set for Yu-Gi-Oh. So that one is quite some time old because, like I said, that was a set that had Labyrinths in it. But um, essentially, we, of course, we're gonna go ahead and crack open 24 Blister packs and 24 Boosters. The difference this time is I actually have a booster box to compare to to kind of get the ratios even, so that way it's not like looking at a previous video. But if you do want to see previous videos, make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. So that way you can check all our videos out. But essentially what we're gonna do is, we're gonna crack open the booster box first, which has the 24 packs in it and the standard ratios, which I believe is um, three quarter century secret rares, three platinum rares, four collectors, and four alties. And then we're gonna open up the 24 blister packs and see which one is best. We're gonna see which one is gonna give you the better ratios because of course the problem with getting a blister pack is that you, the it's not ratioed. So all the boxes have a guaranteed amount of what's supposed to be in the box. Sometimes it's incorrect or an error or sometimes it's not, but generally speaking, a standard booster box of a set of Yu-Gi-Oh cards gives you two secret rares, um, four ultras, and then the rest are supers. The deck builder sex will give you three ultras and the rest supers um, with the possibility of one of the ultras being a collector's rare. And then of course with the QCRs, they're kind of thrown in the mix. Usually you get both of the secrets and the QCR but that kind of is a little bit more random because it's a little bit newer. But generally speaking, we're supposed to be looking at three, three, four, and four. So we're going to crack open the booster box first and lock in basically what the blisters have to compete with. And then we're going to open up all the blisters and see if the blisters gave us better pools or if the box gave us better pools. So if you like common like content like this, make sure you give us that follow. Make sure you give us that subscribe so you can see future videos like this. Um, we're not going to look at value. Um, value would be nice, but unfortunately, um, you know, that'll be too much things kind of going on in the background. So we don't want to do, we're not going to do value. We're simply just going to do ratios and pulls in terms of the QCRs, alties, and secret rares. If the value happens to be better on one side, then I will point that out because I believe only two cards in the set are pretty much the top two dogs should be Ass Blossoms, Joy Springs, and Barone de Flor in its, uh, legacy and its uh, luxury rarities. Uh, the other ones aren't really worth so much. So let's get this thing going and let's get some opening because it's probably going to be every bit of 30 minutes and I don't want to waste too much more time than I already have. So, of course, on the table, we see uh, most of the blister packs, the 24 blisters, and then, of course, the unsealed booster box. I'm going to take the blisters and just move them out of the way for right now because I'm also going to have to crack them open out of these blister packs. So we're just going to move these to the side and we're just going to simply focus on the booster box for right now. So let's go ahead and crack this open. For some reason, my knife keeps disappearing. So I have to grab one of my other knives and replacement. So one seal booster box. And honestly, I've been really, I couldn't wait to crack this thing open because I wanted to open this when I bought it, but I'm like, you know what? The blisters are coming in soon. And I could have got the blisters earlier, realistically speaking, I just, I wasn't gambling what the uh, suppliers at Target and Walmart had because I know Walmart has those five pack booster boxes for like 25 bucks. Um, but I would prefer to get the blisters because one, they're just cheaper to get at Target than they are at Walmart. And also I can at least not have an odd ratio because I, I would have to buy five of those boxes to give me 25 packs out of 24 and it would have cost me more. And it honestly, it would have cost me cheaper to get 25 packs from Target than it would have been from Walmart. So. Um, 
I could have did that, but I actually ordered these online because one of my online uh, retailers that I shop with, they had them available and they shipped them out relatively quickly. So that way I didn't have to gamble with hopping from target to target to find them. So first pack, the rarity collection, which kind of open up smoothly. Let's see what we get out of this. So we're going to be tracking the ratios, of course. So of course we have a red eyes flare metal dragon, secret rare striker dragon, this is standard secret rare, danger jackalope and ultra. Nightmare Unicorn and Ultra, and then of course a Ancient Fairy Dragon in the Super. So, so far, no luxuries out of that one. We're gonna keep it moving. We're not gonna really look so much at the cards because we've already did this opening last week. So we don't have to really look so much at them unless we just pull something absolutely crazy. Chaos Base, and there's our first QCR, Pre-Preparation of Rights. We're gonna go ahead and actually put him up top, followed by Reinforcements of the Army, uh, Ultra Rare Lava Golem, and Iris of Sword Soul. So we are one QCR down so far. Not a great one in my personal opinion, but we're not too bad either. Pot of Extravagance. And then Dingursu, which is in Secret Rare. Uh, Ghost Trick, uh, no, sorry, yeah, Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. Followed by Fallen of Albaz and another Dingursu in Super Rare. Next pack. So we are one luxury, uh, luxury rare, but we have quite a few packs left. So this is just the beginning of the opening. Bit and droplets, infinite and permanent and secret rare. Great because I definitely want a rarity bump in this. Um, Cyber Angel Benton, Cherubini, and another Cyber Angel Benton in super. Next pack. And I'm struggling to open these things up now. It is late at night, so don't want to go too far in the deep. And my phone is going off unnecessarily. All right, n number 100 Numeron Dragons, Harpies, Feather Storm. Uh, Elder Entis um, and Collect... No, this is Ultimate Rare. So, Entis and Ulti. Followed by Collector's Rare. Fallen of the Albaz. Nice. So, we got just pull two. So, we got one, one, and that one. Pull two. A Collector's and an Ulti in the same pack. And there we go. We got some a, a pretty hot stock going on here now. All right. Dark Ruler no more. And here's our Platinum Rare. So, uh, Eltledge the Golden Lord. Borlord Savage Dragon, followed by Galaxy Eyes Full Armor, and Nibiru the Primal Being. I'm going to actually move this knife out of my way before I bump into it and stab myself. So we have pulled all four, uh, all four Luxury Rares, just not all of them exactly. But so far we got um, going on that one. So following the Albaz, Danger Jackalope and Secret, Fairy Tale Luna, Lone Fire Blossom, followed by a Pot of Desires. Actually pulling a couple more pot cards than we did in the other two boxes, which I will take. I'm not going to use all of them, but it's nice to have. Baron de Floor, the first Baron of the set. Then we got a secret rare call of the uh, call by the grave, and then there is another. This is an ultimate rare. I think this is the second one we pulled. So an ulti sphere mode, followed by a collector's rare change of heart. <laughs> That's the second. So the second pack that we pulled that we got one of each out of them, which is, is hilarious. So this actually, there's a chance this might break the ratio. I've seen a pack come with two ultimates or two secret or two collectors, never two, one of each. So I know that's possible of how this, how the set is done, but it's actually nice having pulled that out on that side. All right. We have Nightmare Unicorn, followed by a Secret Lava Golem, Spellbook of Judgment, Chaos Space, and Time Thief Redoer. Moving on. We still need to find another quarter century secret rare, so we're going to keep it moving. You just some God Slime. I needed one of these, and I have a bunch of them, thank God. Here is our next uh, Platinum Secret Rare, Magicalized Fusion. I actually might use this one. So there's our second one of those. And then there's Ancient Fairy Dragon, Dark Ruler No More, and Ultra, and then Predator Plant, Direct Us to Palea. So if this pull rate is correct, we should be about halfway there. There's Ash Blossom Joy Spring. Followed by Time Thief Redoer and Secret, Outlet's Golden Lord, Dogmatic of Punishment, and Cherubini, Avon Angel of the Burning Abyss. And Super Rare. Moving on, I think we're about halfway done now, so we're gonna keep it cooking over here. Another Lava Golem. Evenly matching Secret Rare. Elder Entis, uh, Elder um, Entity Entis. Tribal Gate Revolt, followed by Harpy's Feather Storm. I have plenty of Entises now, but I've had them, they were in. Um, Mavens, so there's a lot of those in that. Another good, not a, another fun set with a lot of good reprints in it. Rhoda, oh, and there's a Platinum Secret Rare and Infinite and Permanence 
pulled a secret rare and a platinum secret. I am liking that. I'm gonna slide that down here. So that should be all three of those. Number 100, Dark Ruler No More, and then another Dogmatica Punishment. So I believe if the ratio is set, that should be all three of the Platinum Secret Rares, unless we happen to pull another one or get more than that, but we're gonna find out. Another Infinite Impermanence, Draco Stapalia, Red Eyes Flare Metal, a Junk Speeder, and then Ghost Bell on Haunted Mansion in Super. We're gonna keep going, keep going. We still haven't pulled another Quarter Century Secret Rare, which is kind of odd. Another Winged Dragon Sphere Mode, and then Ecclesia, the um, Iris Sword Soul, followed by another Full Armor Dragon, and a Vision Hero uh, Ferris. I think I now have every Ferris I needed, because I think I needed three. I know I had one, and then I pulled the other two in the other boxes, so that should be all of them. Artemis, the Magician's Moon Maiden, followed by Junk Speeder and Secret Rare, and then there is a uh, Ultimate Rare Striker Dragon. Followed by Draco Stapalia and, and that, and then another Outledge. So we are three down. Let's see what else we get. So we should get two more Collector's Rares, one more Ultimate, and then of course the two um, Quarter Century Secret Rares. That's what we're supposed to get. And then there's another one. This is the second Triple Tactics Talix I have pulled. So now I have two of these in Quarter Century Secret Rare. Lovely. There's Pre-Preparations of Rights again. And then there's Nibiru in Collector's Rare. I think I have Nibiru, no, I have Nibiru in, in a um, holographic rare in OCG. So that's very similar to the ghost rare. So and then there's Selene. So having a, having a collector's rare in Nib and a change of heart. This, the collector's rares in this one is actually hidden. I'm digging that. Let's go with the next couple packs. We got about seven packs left. That Rhoda is in secret. Blue Eyes Abyss, I forgot this was in here. I'd love to pull that in higher rarity. Um, Magician Salvation, and then Ice Barrier, which is, don't really care about that card. <laughs> what is that card really used for? It's just a water monster, so yeah, probably never gonna use it. All right, then we have Tri Brigade Revolt, Inspector Border and Secret Rare. And then there is our fourth Collector's Rare, an Artemis, the Magician's Moon Maiden. And then there's the Ultra Rare Nibiru, followed by a Super Pot of Prosperity. I might actually use that Artemis in my because um, I use Artemis in my Dark Magician deck just as a fill, as a filler. I might swap it out for the alt or for the collector just to have a hard flex for no reason. Reasoning, Nadir Servant, and then Deco Talker, and then there is a. I think this was was this Ultimate the one I was missing for Hero of the Arc Light. I might have to double check that because I know we were missing one rarity of Herald of the Arc Light to get all seven rarities. I think the ultimate rare was the one I was missing. But there is our fourth ulti and followed by an effect bailer. All right, we have four packs left. We're still missing one quarter century secret rare. But otherwise, we have pretty much hit ratio at this point in time. So let's see if we'll break it. Um, ooh, nice secret rare of the sphere mode. Herald of the Arc Light and Ultra. Baron de Flora and Ultra. And Deco Target Heat Soul and Super. Last three packs. I'm gonna go ahead. Dimension Shifter, Chain to Heart in Secret, Call by the Grave and Ultra, Pot of Extravagance and Ultra, and Deco Talker Inverted. All right, yeah, Cold Talker, not Deco Talker. And I'm adding syllables and words to this for no reason. All right, last two packs. One of these packs has to have the QCR in it. So hopefully. Hopefully it's the last pack for Last Pack Magic, but it might be this one. All right, Tribal Gear Revolt, followed by Compulse and Secret Rare. Pot of Prosperity in Ultra Rare. Ice Barrier in Ultra Rare. And Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon in Super Rare. That means this last pack should have the Quarter Century Secret Rare in it. So let's see what it is. So we got Alpha, the Master of the Beast, followed by Herald of the Arc Light and Quarter Century Secret Rare. This is the... I pulled doubles because now I have two... Um, triple, triple Tactic Talents and two of the Herald of the Arc Lights in, in the QCRs. But there's a third one, Alpha the Beast. And, oh, we broke ratio. An Ultimate Rare Effect Veiler. So that makes five. So last pack actually had a double in it. So here is going to be our current standards. We have four Collector's Rares, three um, Platinum Secret Rares, of course the three Quarter Century Secret Rares, and now five Ultimate Rares. It should have been four, four, three, and three. So now we actually have five, four, 
three and three. Alrighty. That covers the booster box. Let me get some of these cards out of the way and then get the blisters together. So now we have our mission. So three QCRs, three pl um, Platinum Secret Rares, five Altis, and four Collector's Rares. We are going to see which one is going to win this one. Is it going to be the blisters or is it going to be the boosters box? Right now, the booster box is going to be a pretty hard contender to go against because it already broke the, the standard ratio that this should have been in. Where's the box for this so I can keep these cards safe? Um, Down here. There we go. I'm going to put those in here. Put them to the side. So I will come back to them later. So now on to the fun stuff as I drop everything here and pr proceed to a pile of blister packs, which is gonna be a little bit of a mild headache to take care of. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a little bit of time travel and some camera magic. We'll be right back. I'm gonna go crack all of these open and come back. So stay tuned, be right back. All right, guys, I got all the blisters unwrapped out of their blister packaging and got them all to the side. So let's get this thing cracking. So remember the number is three, four, three, three, four, and five. So five Altis, four Collectors, three Quarter Centuries, and three Platinum Secret Rares. So let's see what is gonna be better. These are all 24 blister packs. We're gonna go ahead and crack these open on this side. Let's see what our first pack has in store for us. We have Muck Dragon of the Swamp, followed by Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief, Artifact Lancia, Win the Wind Charmer and Shadal Schism. So nothing out of the first pack. I'm gonna keep clicking over here and see what else we get out of that one. So we have Standard Striker Dragon, followed by another Secret Rare Infinite and Permanent. So I'm gonna have a Secret Rare version of these and all of them, good. D Shifter. And then here's our first Ultimate Rare, Harpy's Featherstorm. So there's number one. And then Inspector Border. So there's our first Luxury Rare out of the group. One down, four to go. So we're gonna see if we can do better, worse, or match. Nadir Servant and Super, followed by a Nightmare Unicorn and Secret, another Infinite and Permanent and Ultra, followed by our first Collector's Rare, Pre-Preparation Right, so there we go, one and one, followed by a Pot of Desires. Alrighty, we're, we're getting started on this one. Let's see what craziness that we can pull. It'll be wild if we get more than three uh, quarter century Secret Rares. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, Den Gersu and Standard Secret, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, Lava Golem, and the beer of the primal being. Next pack. Next pack. This is actually a fun one because I actually like the set a lot. And then we have Borlo Savage and Secret. Barone de Floor and Alti. This is a fantastic pool. So this is when if we were questioning on value, this might actually help take the cake on that one. That one is definitely going over there, and that was definitely a card I wanted. I wanted to get it either in Collectors or Alti. I would love to get it in the Quarter Century Secret Rare as well, but I like the Ultimate. I like the Collector Rare and the Ultimate Rares. I like how they look a little bit better than that one, at least for Baron. And then followed by that, and then there's Magicalized Fusion, Danger Jackalope, followed by a Ultimate Rare pro Pot of Prosperity. <laughs> So there's our third ulti. So three of five. I should have used it. I should have based this on value. Those are two very good ultimate rares and two very good pulls out of that one. We should have did it that way. I'm just too lazy to pull up card prices at this point in time. But so far we got three ultimate rares. We're down two. So we're, 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 let's let's keep moving. Survey says summon limit. Another pot of prosperity. Magician salvation and pre preparation of rights. Next pack. Isaiah Wheat. We're just getting started on this one, and this one's already cooking a, a pulls out of that one so far. So let's go ahead. First quarter century secret rare is Magician Salvation. You know what? I might use this. I might use this. Oh, this is nice. I might use that one. I'm not 100% sure on that one yet. I might use it. I'll consider it. We'll think about it. Uh, so there's the first one. Fossil Dig. Cherubini. And then down at Magician. All right, so we need two more, three more, two more, and then three Platinums. We haven't even found a Platinum Secret yet. Out of that one, Lightning Storm. I keep forgetting his card was in here. Ultimate Dragon, D Barrier, and Herald of the Arc Light. 
Like I said, that card apparently is going to be my chosen card. So like I said, I think with the ulti we just pulled, that makes all seven rarities of Herald of the Arc Light that we pulled between the two, um, the two different pulls on this one. Ghost Trick. There is, uh, there's our Platinum. Platinum Secret Rare Eldritch. I think we pulled this one already. This was the Eldritch I think we pulled in the other box. It would have been nice if it was the alternate art Eldritch, but it'll do. So we got one Platinum. Followed by Pot of Desires. Win the Wind Charmer. And Call by the Grave. Having multiple copies of these staples is going to be very, very, very nice. Alrighty, next pack. D Shifter. Ferris in, in Secret. Call by the Grave. Muck Dragon of the Swamp. And Fossil Dig. Alrighty. We're not looking too bad. We got a pretty decent start going on here, but I think we're going to start cooling off a little bit. So let's see what else we get out of here. Alpha the Mas Master Beast. Uh, win the Wind Charm in Secret. Lightning Storm in Ultra. Junk Secret Round in Ultra. Followed by Artifact Lancia in, in uh, Super. <laughs> Trying to go through this really quickly so that way I don't waste a whole lot of time. Red Eyes Flare Dark Metal Dragon. Followed by another secret rare version of the Wing Dragon Ross Sphere Mode. Nice to have. Artifact Lancia, Inspector Border, and Summon Limit. I think we're about halfway through now. So far, our ratios are not looking good right now. We started off hot and then we cooled down. Speaking of Eldritch Yalsner Dart, there's that one. Followed by uh, Alpha the Ma uh, Master Beast. And there's our next collector's rare, um, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Nice collector's rare for that one. And then we have our Dark Ruler No More in, in Ultra, followed by another Inspector Border. All right, slow build, slow cook. We simmered down a little bit, now we're cooking a little bit again. So let's see, go to the next one. Chaos Space, another Ecclesia, Spellbook of Judgment, Galaxy Eyes, and then Angel Ben 10. Got about eight packs left. Let's see if these eight, if these eight packs are gonna give us some magic or they're gonna give us some duds. So we got Danger Jackalope, Lone Fire Blossom in Secret Rear, Summon Limit, Fallen of Albaz, and another Spell Book of Judgment. Next pack, we're running low. We either need some double hits or just nothing but non-stop hits from here on out. So let's see what we get. Lava Golem, followed by Nibiru of the Primal Being in Secret. But this one, ooh, this one's bad damage on this one. Look at that, like bubbled up. That's not good. Followed by, there we go. The alternate art outlets collector's rare. So they got them in a platinum and in a collector's rare. And then Pot of Extravagance and Dengursu. So we are one collector's rare away from locking in that one. We still need two more platinum secret rares, two more QCRs, and two more ultis to make the box even. Let's see if we get some more hits out of there. Junk Speeder, D Shifter, Numer number 100 Numeron Dragon. Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion, followed by the Irish Sword Soul. Last six packs, I believe. It looks like six packs. It might be seven or it might be five. You know, the packs are so small, it's hard for me to keep count of them, and they're stacked that way. Rhoda, Egyptian God Slime and Secret, Entis, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring and Ultra, and then another Nightmare Unicorn. Good solid cards that everybody could use and need, which is why it makes a set so so great. All right, I think there's a quarter century. I think I saw some shiny in there. So Entis, there we go. There's our QCR, Muck Dragon of the Swamp. So there's our second one of those. Uh, Rhoda and Ultra, Ice, Ice Barrier and Ultra, and then the Fossil Dig. All right, last four packs. We're probably not gonna hit ratio at this point, which means the blisters are gonna lose. The blisters are gonna win in value, but the blisters are gonna lose in terms of pulls. Uh, Avermax. Uh, I can't even read now. Um, Harpy's Featherstorm. There is our fourth collector's rare and red eyes, dark metal, uh, flare metal dragon. So there's all of our collector's rares, all four of them. We just hit, we got two or three packs left. This could still turn around ice dragon of the prison as well as the, um, lightning storm. Yes, there's three packs left. They're kind of stuck together. Last three. Come on now. You can do this. You can do this. We have Tour Guide of the Underworld, Danger Jackalope, Entis, D Barrier, and Dogmatica Prison. Last two packs. We are down one quarter century secret rare, two um, platinum secret rares, and two Altis. What do we get? Pot of Extravagance and Secret, Dogmatica Ecclesia, 
there's another collector's rare. There is uh, Chaos Space. So I'll take that as substitution. So if we could pull one more Ultra Ultimate, then that would be better. And then we can, I can pretty much mildly balance it out. But it looks like, unfortunately, with this last pack, unless this last pack is a God pack, what do we get out of this one? Survey says, Tour Guide of the Underworld, Deco Talker, there's the Platinum Rare. I keep calling it Deco Talker. It's actually just Co Talker Inverted. Uh, Egyptian God Slime, Winged Dragon of Ra, and another Ancient Fairy Dragon. So unfortunately, Blisters lost this one. Not by a lot, but it lost it pretty bad. So we got five collector's rares instead of four, only two quarter century secret rares, two platinum rares. So we're missing one of each of these. And then we did get three ultimate rares. We're missing two more of these. So that's going to do it. But the upside to this is we did get an ultimate rare, Pot of Prosperity and Bear on the Floor, which I need to put both of these in sleeves right now. Now, like I said, it'd be very disrespectful to me not to sleeve both of these cards. And honestly, pretty much all of these are going to get put in a sleeve, but these two most definitely need to get put in sleeves right now. I don't even know how much the Ultimate Rare Biron costs. I should probably look into the value of that one. Probably not a stupid amount, but this is one I want to have for my own personal collection just to have. And now I have a bunch of Barons unnecessarily. So that's going to conclude this video. The booster box definitely took the cake on this box. For, um, Blisters versus boosters, which is kind of funny because when we did the first one for Yu-Gi-Oh, it actually, the, the ratios evened out. It actually pretty much was neck and neck. Uh, Lorcana was close, but Lorcana was going to pretty much lose that one because unless we pulled an enchanted out of that one, um, that wasn't going to happen. So for this to be on the third round, especially for this set, where a lot of things are randomized, at least in terms of what like rarities and the different cards you're going to pull, this was a good test to see which one was better. But so far, just from this one set of pulls, it looks like the booster box won, and it won by quite a bit. Now, if we're looking at dollar amount, there's a good chance that the uh, the, the, the blisters might have won in value. That's going to be purely determined what the price of Prada Prosperity and Barrel on the Floor Ultimate Rare is. Um, I'm probably pretty positive Barone is at least 30 bucks. That's my guesstimate. It might be less. It might be a little bit more. I don't know. I'll have to look up at that. But if you guys know the answer to that, make sure you give a comment in the video below and make sure you give us a like and a subscribe for any future videos. Tell us what you're thinking about. Um, tell us if you want to do another uh, blister versus boosters. Um, I do like doing these in terms of getting your hands on both types of products to really educate you guys more because I know a lot of you guys like to do pulls um, or just watch other people do pulls. And so it's kind of one of those things where it's like, hey, I want to get back in the game. What type of product do I buy? Do I just buy a bunch of blisters? Do I buy a booster box? Generally speaking, I will always recommend getting a booster box over a bunch of blisters. But if you don't have access to a card store that can get you a booster box or you want one sooner, then of course, blisters are going to be pretty much your only alternative into that. So that's going to be my recommendation on that side in terms of what you should get for your pools. But that's basically the results we have here. Want something a little more concrete, get a booster box. Otherwise, gamble with the blisters, but make sure you at least when you get the blisters, you get them at a good price. So like, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, be prepared for other videos. More episodes of Passive Playlist are coming up. More episodes of um, Anime Review with Ivy Friction, Mrs. Ivy Friction coming up. And then I have a couple more unboxing I have to do. Um, I don't know if I want to do my case of 10 openings on the channel or not. That's because that's just a lot of work. I'm probably gonna have to, die. if I do it, I'm just gonna crack open all the tens and get all the packs together. Um, so leave us a comment on that if you wanna see that video next. I also have a Maximum Gold unboxing that I wanna do. And then I also have Magician's Forces in Korean. That's gonna be new that I'm gonna crack open as well. Um, so if you guys wanna see one of them before the other, leave it in the comments below. Um, or if you wanna give me advice and if you wanna see crack open the tens, uh the case of tens i have um do that as well give me your advice on what you guys want to see next i might put a poll out in the future but in the meantime stay posted this is king zeph no time to explain i'm out till next time